Hello everybody. In this video I wanted to show the difference between using an absolute reference and a relative reference when recording macros and running a macro. So to get started, right now I'm in my developers tab and I'm currently set up to use absolute references because use relative reference is not currently activated. If I was to activate it, just simply select it and it will be highlighted orange. If I unselect it, right now we're now in absolute reference mode. So let me show you the difference as to what this does. I'm going to record a macro. I'm going to call this reference and then I'm going to say absolute and hit OK. Now that the macro is running, I started off with A11. I'm going to select B11. I'm going to make that bold and I'm going to go down to the cell right below it and I'm just going to highlight it yellow. And I'm going to go back to A11, developers tab, stop recording. So right now, if I was to change this back to its original formatting and run that macro, macros, and then I'm going to do reference absolute, select run, we notice that, it, I mean, it repeats the exact same thing that we did. A11 is again selected. If I was to run that macro again, we're going to see the screen briefly flicker to where it makes B11 bold and highlight B12 and then go back to A11. And the way the code looks for reference absolute, we see that it selects B11, does its formatting and then goes back to A11. So now what we're going to do is use a relative reference. So I'm going to change the formatting back to the original um, setting, the initial start, put no fill, and now in the developers tab, I'm going to use relative reference, record macro. I'm going to call this reference relative and select OK. We're going to do the same exact thing. Select B11, put bold, and I'm going to highlight the cell right below it, um, yellow, and then go back to A11. So right now, if I was to start recording and go to the macros again, run the reference relative macro, we'll see that it does the exact same thing. But here's the difference. If I select A14 and run that macro, reference relative, and hit run, it does the same thing that we did starting with A11, but starting on A14. And it selected B14, made it bold, went to the cell right below it, and then B15, colored it yellow. And if we were to go to A17, run that same macro, we'll see that it does the exact same thing that we did on row 11 but happened on row 17. The code does look different on the reference relative. Click edit. And this is the code that's created for the reference relative. Of course this isn't your normal VBA coding. This is code created by the Excel environment recorder. Personally I won't be creating any kind of code using you know this matter but this just gives you a quick example on a relative reference um, it, it can be very useful and make your formatting more efficient the personally the way I would use this kind of relative reference is I would change it so that it, you have a short key to it like let's say control U hit enter and just give you a real quick demonstration as to how this can help you if I hit control U on this A20 quick format uh, control U here control U control U control U and very quick for repeating that macro that you just created to do that quick formatting. So hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.